Uh, I want to move on now to a very serious uh, story. Uh, there's a new feature-length documentary uh, produced by the Salvation Army Vision Network. Uh, it's called Hardcore. Uh, really interesting and draws the link between the porn industry and human sex trafficking. The executive producer and director of Hardcore, Guy Nolan, joins us now from our L.A. Bureau. Uh, Guy, good to see you. Uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, the, give us the background to the movie, why you wanted to do it, uh, what point you're really trying to make here. Uh, yeah, well, thanks, Jonathan. It's, it's good to be here. Um, we actually had started this, this project, uh, you know, about six months ago. Uh, and a lot of people don't know that uh, the Salvation Army uh, does a lot of different work with a lot of different causes. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're known for our, our uh, disaster relief and, and homeless, uh, homeless outreach and, and those kinds of things. But a lot of people don't know that uh, we have a, a lot of different causes that people can get behind. And one of our big ones is uh, human trafficking, in particular human sex trafficking. And uh, this was just, you know, a, a big issue that we felt really needed to be addressed at this time. And uh, so we decided to tackle it, and it's it's been it's been a wild ride so far. Yeah, I'm sure it has. I would, it, it, talk to me a little bit about some of the most disturbing uh, things that you discovered in the filming of this guy. Well, there's a lot of things, uh, a lot of different statistics, and a lot of uh, different stories that we've come across. Um, things that would that that would really surprise a lot of people, I think. <laughs> Um, one of the most disturbing statistics that, that uh, we found is that, uh, you know, listen, first of all, I want to say we're not trying to uh, get rid of pornography. We know that that's, that's not going to happen. And uh, we just want to draw the link between, uh, in the sex industry, between all of the different facets and how they all have something to do in some part, in some way, at some point with human sex trafficking. Um, and, uh, you know, we found a lot of really disturbing uh, uh, statistics, for instance. Um, uh, we had an interview with uh, a sociologist from UCLA who's called The Porn Professor. And he pointed out that 7% of all men who use pornography uh, uh, are, are inclined towards uh, acting out uh, in sexual deviance in, in violent sex crimes towards women. Um, and pornography actually has shown to push them over that edge to, from, from fantasizing to actually acting out. Now, if we take that 7% and we take Los Angeles, for example, 20 million people, half of those are, are men, 10 million people, 7% of that is what, 700,000 men out there walking around in the greater Los Angeles area who are committing sex acts, violent sex acts against women as a result of their pornography use, mm. that's pretty disturbing. That's yeah. a pretty big number, and we've we've gotten a lot of a lot of those kind of statistics and a lot of stories uh, from women out there and from addicts out there uh, that are, are really proving to be uh, uh, really hard to deal with uh, on on a reality when you look at it in a real sense. All right, guy, I want to talk some more, uh, but first of all, I want to give our uh, viewers uh, a sense of. Uh, what they'll see if they uh, if they watch this documentary. Uh, here's the trailer from Hardcore. Can you see the camera? There's a camera right there. My name is Guy Nolan. Recently, I decided to take my film crew on a journey around our great nation with the sole purpose of exposing the truth behind legalized pornography. Go to the porn convention. Guard your heart and your loins. There's definitely a lot of characters out here. <laughs> Almost everyone would say, well, I'm not married now. But when I get married, I will stop. <laughs> no, you won't. You can fight and die for your country. Right. I think you can choose if you want to watch porn or not. As soon as we sell person, we're in trouble. It's just another business. It will literally destroy you. And what we found out will blow your mind. Pornography is prostitution for mass consumption. I did this to take care of people in a different way. And it's the most fulfilling and wonderful thing I've ever done. The women who work for me have free choice. They're independent contractors. Who came from an abusive environment? If these women knew that people cared about them, maybe they wouldn't sell their bodies. The cost is high for all of us. That looks fascinating.
fasc fascinating guy. Um, how difficult was it, uh, one, finding women who would talk about this uh, in particular, and two, how difficult was it, was it listening to so many of those stories? They must have been heartbreaking and truly disturbing. Yeah, yeah, no, there are, Jonathan, there are a lot of really uh, uh, sickening stories out there, but, but also there's a lot of hope. Um, and, it, you know, finding, the, finding the, the gals to talk wasn't all that difficult just because the Salvation Army runs a lot of these programs uh, and, and, and helps a lot of these girls get out of these uh, situations, uh, human sex trafficking, and that's a big part of what our national uh, human sex trafficking office does is it gets people out and gets them into safety and gets them into programs so that they can start their life anew. And so we were able to talk to a lot of those girls uh, about about uh, you know uh, where they came from and, and what the circumstances were, and there's a lot of similarities in most of their stories. Uh, we were also able to interview a lot of people who are currently uh, in the business and currently uh, participating in, in pornography and prostitution and, and some of these uh, different venues. Um, and you'd be surprised. Uh, you know, people are you know, on, on one side or the other. And again, we're, we're trying to, to, to look at this objectively as journalists and, and, and not really slam it, but just ask the central question, is it wrong? And if so, why? And what can we do about it? Mm. Uh, now, anybody who wants to uh, see the documentary, how do they go about that, Guy? Well, there's, uh, the quickest way is to go to our website, which is uh, SAVN.TV, uh, with Salvation Army Vision Network, it's an acronym, uh, or they can go to uh, our Kickstarter campaign, which is Kickstarter.SAVN.TV. Either way, uh, they'll be able to see what we're doing, get updates, and uh, you know, it'll, they'll get to the Kickstarter campaign as well. All right, Guy Nolan, executive producer and director of Hardcore, uh, website up there, Kickstarter.SAVN.TV or just SAVN.TV. Uh, great to see you, Guy. It it's really is a fascinating documentary. I recommend everybody see it. Uh, Thought-provoking, whatever side you come down on uh, in terms